down here on Sandy Hook. Beautiful spring day. If I sound nasally, it's because I'm dying from allergies, just like about everybody else I know. Uh, what Pat and I are doing is we're looking into a, a piece of information we heard, a story. Um, I mean, it's, it's a fact, it's just a matter of where it is. And that is the location of a mass grave on Sandy Hook. Um, yes, you've heard that correct. you've heard that correctly, a mass grave. Uh, now I heard from this from somebody who really would know, because there are a lot of legends and stories out on Sandy Hook, ghost stories, pirate stories, all kinds of things that we talked about in one of our earlier videos. Uh, some of them may be legit, some of them may be not. Uh, National Park Service is very stingy with saying, oh yeah, you know, this definitely this building is haunted. So we don't really get any help from anybody. We have to do our own digging around. And the location of this mass grave, I don't know exactly where it is. I do know it's between two certain uh, points of interest out here. And where this grave comes from is over the hundreds of years that Sandy Hook has been used uh, in various capacities. Uh, a lot of shipwrecks are carved out in you know, New York Bay, Sandy Hook Bay. And during the lighthouse years of operation, uh, bodies would wash up from these shipwrecks, and the lighthouse keeper would bury them in unmarked graves. So we know it is somewhere in that area over there. Uh, now the geography of this land has changed. The lighthouse, when it was built, was only about 500 feet from the water. Right now it's over 7,000 feet, just the way the water carries the sand. Sandy Hook is constantly changing. The geography of the landscape is constantly changing. Uh, and it's really fascinating. So this mass grave, I think I know where it is. Somebody said it's between this point and this point. Uh, if we do discover the location, we are not going to say publicly. So if the National Park Service is watching this, do not worry. I'm not going to publicly reveal uh, where this location is because simply it's a place that no attention has been called to it uh, for probably 150, almost 200 years. And we want to make sure that attention stays away. Uh, it's a very similar situation to Gettysburg where there were a few Confederate mass graves, uh, where only, I think it's three people in the whole park service know where that grave is located, or where those graves are located. They don't want people digging, fooling around, looking for things. You know, they want the grave to uh, remain peaceful. So, I understand why the location is not revealed publicly. And again, we will not reveal it publicly ourselves. Uh, but there should be, should be out there that there is a grave. It's fascinating, I and mean, there's a lot of history out here. People love shipwrecks, and this is a grave of shipwreck victims. So we are going to try to find it, do a spirit box session. Uh, if we can manage to film it without giving off where the location is, then we will post that. Uh, if not, then maybe we'll just share the audio, or maybe we'll just you know, aim the camera straight down at the ground. We want to remain respectful of the graves, as well as uh, the National Park Service's views on keeping the location secret. But it does exist, it is out there. The only thing I'll give you is it's that way. And there's a lot that way. So we're going to be doing some digging. We have a couple of sources we're going to use and it's actually kind of exciting. We're going to see what we'll find. So check that out in a future episode of Ghosts on the Coast. We're trying to not just do paranormal, but of course we always like to loop the history in. Uh, right now you can see we're by one of the old placements here. The area is closed. There's some more bunkers on the tip of them we're going to look at later on. Uh, but for now, that'll do it. Greg Caggiano here, Pat Osborne behind the camera for Ghosts on the Coast, and we will see you next time.